Android 12 is not even released to the public and there are already Android 12 custom ROMs available out there in the market. It is pretty unusual for custom ROMs to get released before the final public release of any Android version. But today we are going to review such a ROM which is based on Android 12 Beta 2. So let's see how it works. This is Arrow, welcome to my channel. Android 12 Beta 2 came with few changes to the quick settings panel and also some few new features when compared to Beta 1. In the quick settings panel, there is a power menu toggle which makes it easier for us to access the power menu without using the power button. Now when clicking the Wi-Fi toggle in the quick settings panel, it shows all the available Wi-Fi networks in the bottom which makes it easier for us to connect to those networks easily when compared to Beta 1. And there is an option to block the access of camera and microphone to all the apps in this build which is the best feature that Google has implemented and from now on users need not to worry about any third party or unknown apps accessing the camera or microphone without their knowledge. And also in the settings there is a new dedicated privacy dashboard feature which helps the users to know which apps are accessing which sensors and at what times. This is a big push towards the privacy and Google is also pushing towards privacy with this new Android 12 update which is a good thing for us users because we are getting more control of our devices than what we got before. In the beginning I said this is a custom ROM. Yes, usually custom ROMs do come along with their set of bugs. And this ROM is also no exception. The primary bug I noticed is the theming engine is not consistent all over the system. The accent color is not getting picked up automatically from the wallpaper but this can be fixed with a simple turning on and off toggle of the dark mode. And the transparency effects in the quick settings panel and also in the notification shared area are also missing. Some users may face inconvenience while rebooting the devices because their devices may get stuck in the boot screen but this can be simply fixed with force rebooting the devices by holding the power button down till the device restarts. Not only these bugs, but there are also fixes that came along with the Android 12 Beta 2 in this custom ROM when compared to Beta 1. The internal storage is now working perfectly fine and there is no need for us to flash the G apps as they are already included in this custom ROM. The camera is also working pretty fine and Gcam app is also working fine without any crashes. Here are some few beautiful shots that I took with the Gcam app in this ROM. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular network, Vivo LTE, all, all these features are working perfectly fine and are stable. In the beta one, few users face SMS bug which restricted them from accessing the SMS services on the devices but this particular problem has been fixed in this custom ROM. This ROM is kind of pretty stable but I don't recommend it as a daily driver because all these features some may break at any time and may cause a lot of inconvenience. So please do try at your own risk. The link for this particular ROM is given in the description below. This particular ROM file is only for MIA2 users. Please all other device users wait or search for any other Android 12 based custom ROMs that are provided by the developers particular for your device. Please don't try to flash this particular ROM on your devices as they may get bricked. So now into the installation process, your device must have the TWRP recovery installed. If you don't know how to install the TWRP recovery, I already made a video about that. The link is given in the description below. You can access that link and you can simply unlock your bootloader and flash the TWRP recovery on your device. It is pretty simple. After installing the TWRP recovery, boot into the recovery by holding the power button and volume up button. After device gets booted into the TWRP recovery, select wipe. Go to advanced wipe, select all the options, Dalvik system, data cache and internal storage. After that, swipe to wipe. After wiping gets completed, simply reboot your device into recovery mode. After entering into recovery, copy the downloaded ROM file zip into your internal storage. Next, click install and select the ROM file and simply swipe to flash. After the flashing gets completed, simply reboot your device and enjoy. 
That's it friends. If your device does not have a supported Android 12 custom ROM available, you don't need to worry. You can do it by another method, which is the flashing a GSI over an Android 11 custom ROM, which I'm going to make a new video about. So please subscribe to my channel, stay connected for the next video. It is going to be based on Android 12 beta 3, and I'm going to show you how to flash a GSI of Android 12 beta 3 on your devices. That process works for all your devices. So that's it friends. Please do like, share and subscribe. Please don't forget. Huh? Thank you for watching. Bye bye.